Hey everybody, so in case you missed it, Tyler Sagan picked up his first career fight last night and he got the Gordie Howe hat trick, which is a goal assist and fight in the same game and I was just, I was shocked. Um, Sagan is not somebody that I ever expected to see in a fight. Um, I mean, throughout the history of the NHL, there's been star players who fight and there's been star players who don't. I mean, and Sagan definitely fell in the category of star players who don't for me and just because he got one fight doesn't mean he's going to start fighting all the time now so he still really isn't a, probably not going to be a fighter but it's just really weird to see him in a fight um really up to this point I've never even seen him come close to getting in a fight like he's usually the guy when there's a scrum that's kind of on the outside just grabs somebody and just stays over out of everything but um I guess someone finally ticked him off enough that they he finally threw down and um, you know you got, you see guys that are really superstar players and but they're still willing to fight guys like Jerome McGinla, Shane Doan, Joe Thornton even in Dallas Jamie Benn. Jamie Benn fights quite a bit. Um, Sagan's not one of those you know type of players he's more on the Wayne Gretzky um, Mario Lemieux type that is a star player and really doesn't fight at all. Uh, you see a lot more of those nowadays where star guys who score a lot really don't get involved in physically that much at all. And um, so it was just it was weird to see Sagan fight, but um, it's not like the guy he fought was a big time fighter either. You know, Patrick Nemeth doesn't really fight much, so it's not like somebody you know that throws down all the time, grabbed him and forced him to fight. It was Sagan actually wanted it, I think. Uh, he was really ticked. And uh, I'm just, I, think, I thought it was worth pointing out that Sagan got in a fight because you do not see players like that fighting very often, especially in today's NHL. Um, it was just, as, as a Bruins fan who watched him when he was really young and then saw him get traded to Dallas, which we still don't want to talk about, but um, he just never seemed like the type that was ever going to get in a scrap, and he did. It took a few years, but he finally did. I don't expect to see another one anytime soon. He didn't fare awfully well, um, which could be expected. He's not a big guy, and it was his first fight he probably really he probably had no clue what to actually do he just kind of grabbed on and swung swung around a little bit but um yeah that's about it it's just really weird to see um maybe he'll get lessons from Jamie Ben cuz Jamie Ben falls in that other category of star player who is certainly willing to drop the gloves so that's it on Sagan, just kind of cool to see, weird to see, um, never thought I'd see it. Him throwing the fists, using his hands for things other than scoring points. So, good for him, and uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, spread the word, we want this channel to grow. Thank you for watching, and more to come. Talk to you soon.